everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, today it is uh, April 9th, 2024, and I'm here to do comparison pictures for you guys. Yes, I have my laptop over here because I wanted to see when was the official date of when I did the last comparisons for you and how much did I weigh back then. So really, really quickly, um, I started my journey July 5th, 2023, and I came in at 207.2, okay? And that's not my heaviest, by the way. That is not my heaviest. My heaviest was when I, let's see, in uh, 2010, maybe. I, I weighed 228 pounds, almost 230 pounds. And I do have pictures of me back then, and I'll, I'll, dig those out at some point and we can go all the way back <laughs> but um I haven't been that since then once I lost that weight I never I never have seen those numbers uh got close got close I went back up to like 215 at some point um but I had held steady pretty much at 207 205 207 uh pretty much throughout the years um, and then finally, finally, July 5th of 2023, I came in at 207.2. Uh, and for me, you guys, I think there's a lot of factors, my age, uh, the stress level, uh, it's very, very, you know what I mean? Like my, my, my body and things like that can't handle too much. Uh, and so even at 207 pounds, you guys, I, I was miserable and it had nothing to do with the actual clothing. It had nothing to do with that. It had everything to do with my body, my blood pressure, my mood, my fatigue, my just, it had to do with all of that. It just really is for me, 205, 207, my body really starts to tell me I can't carry this weight. It really does. And I just I really just don't feel good. Going back to the video at hand here. Uh, so five months ago was when I had done a comparison for you, my very first comparison. Uh, so that was around the end of October because I'm looking at the video right here. I have it right here and I will link that video here too. Uh, and in that video, I talked about my birthday and it had just passed and my birthday is October 8th. So it had been around the end of October, early November. Um, and then YouTube is telling me it was like five months ago. So anyway, let me see if I say the exact date on the okay, video. I do. It says October 12th, 2023. That's when I did the comparison video. Okay. The first one. So I came in that day. I came in at 190.8. That's when I did the comparison. So the very first pictures were 207.2. And then the comparison was at 190.8. Okay. And so today the comparison will be, um, from 190.8 to, uh, 177.2. Okay. But the total loss from beginning is 30 pounds. And I tell you, I feel really, really good. You guys, I really, really do. I feel great. Um, I'm so glad that I, decided to do this and I'm glad that I'm doing it on YouTube too because it really to find this video and then it, it I sort of uh, went down my own rabbit hole and I started looking at much much older videos of me and I look at the videos and uh, I could see it in my face uh, I could I know what I was feeling those days um and all the attempts of trying to lose weight, regardless of what I was doing, keto or whatever I was doing. Uh, and I know my situation. I know what I'm going through. And I try to tackle um, my health, if you will, my weight loss by the foods, which, yes, you do by the foods. <laughs> you know, no doubt. Right. In whatever you're doing. OK. You know, counting calories, you know, and all this stuff. Okay. But honestly, for me, I'm so glad that I have really stopped and thought about things in 2023 at the beginning, especially. And I said, no, in order for me to gain any health, any long lasting health that I was going to have to go around about it much more different and really look at situations in my life 
not just externally, but in me as well. And it all encompasses stress and how I deal with stress. And I, again, I made, a, I made mention about this, that I know why I am the way I am. I know the source of that. You know what I mean? But I, you just develop these habits and you develop this type of thinking that in every situation in your life, you sort of adapt those things. You adapt that way of thinking. You adapt the way of feeling about something, you know, because a lot of times it is feeling. It's not, it's your perception, you know. And that's what happened when I was doing, uh, sort of doing my little research on this because uh, I kind of went down that rabbit hole of looking at my own videos. Some of them are private. Some of them are privated. And I even went into those. And wow, I could really feel almost what I was going through. I could still feel those emotions even, you know? And it's really good to do this on here. It really, really is. And, and I, I, I am very glad that I did do this on YouTube back in 2012. This, this for me has really been different. And that's why I think that when I look at the scale as exciting, that has, as exciting that it has been for me to see the 170s, because that's a monumental achievement for me really big you know 20 21 22 years since i've seen those numbers uh much more greater is just what i'm doing in my personal life how i'm really working on a lot of things in my personal life and gosh when you really try to get down down and, and deep and, and really start to untangle all this stuff it's hard. It's not easy. And I think that's where the avoidance for me has come because I did, I wasn't in it emotionally, mentally, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. I just wasn't able to dive into these things, you know? And so it was just like, I was on a rat wheel, you know, just, just, you know, trying to gain my health by just the foods and, and the working out, you know? And it just wasn't going to ever be that way for me. So yeah. Anyways, I just, it just, it got me, it got me spiraling into my own, um, journeys, the many journeys that I've had here on YouTube. And, um, anyway, it feels good to be at this place. And I just pray and hope that it'll just keep getting better from here and we'll have more comparison videos. You know, that's, that's what I want. It's not always easy though. I am going to make a video. I don't know if it's already up. If it is, I'll put it right here about what happened yesterday. Uh, if not, look out for it. And I wanted to do it separate from this video. All right, guys. So recap before you see all the, 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 the comparisons recap. Uh, the last time I did the comparison, I was 198. No, 190.8. Uh, that was October 12th. Okay. 2023. My starting weight was 207.2 and that was July 5th of 2023. And speaking of that, I do have a video that I will be working on. It's, that one's going to take me a little bit more time, I think, because I'm going to be, uh, I started this journey when I started the journey, uh, the health quest, as I call it on July 5th, I actually started documenting it on my own privately. And so those are the videos that I want to bring to light. I want to bring those to you guys, but I want to do it in such a way that I could talk about it. Me talk about my own video. Okay. So that I could explain more things. So I'm going to be working on those too. All right, my friends, that is it. Let me go ahead and let you see the comparison slideshow, if you will. And I will see you back here. Uh, yeah. In my next comparison video. When would that be? Well, let's keep going. I'm in, I'm doing OMAD right now. Well, intermittent fasting and OMAD and uh, not eating past a certain time in the evening. And my diet is more consistent of carnivore. It seems like most days, but I definitely do ketovore as well. I have a little bit of carbs in there, but that's what I'm doing in terms of food. And then in terms of exercise, I do belly dancing, strength training, and a little bit of cardio. It's cardio is not at the top of the list anymore, which feels really, really good. Okay, my friends, I'll let you see the comparison and I hope you enjoy. Okay, take care. Bye.